this guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> quite, quite famous, isn't it? Uh, what do you do if you're an impersonator and the person that you're impersonating impersonates you right back? This is what happened to Mexican Morrissey, Jose Maldonado, lead singer with the Sweet and Tender Hooligans, as he stood in the crowd at the Wilton Theatre in 2004 and heard Morrissey announce to raucous applause. Can I say it in his voice? <laughs> Hello, we are the Sweet and Tender Hooligans. I am Jose. Wow. <laughs> uh, the Mexican Morrissey has been paying tribute to his idol for over 20 years. A Latino phenomenon, Mexi Moss has thousands of devoted fans that have spent years going to concerts trying to grab his hand or tear his shirt apart. His band have sold out concerts in Los Angeles, Orange County, San Francisco, San Diego, Seattle, Boston, New York, Austin, El Paso, Monterey, Mexico, London, Leeds, Manchester and Glasgow. During the interview, Jose grabs every opportunity to compliment Morrissey and his devotion is paramount. He reminds me of that picture of Morrissey when he's looking up to Sandy Shaw with rosary beads, full of admiration. When all is said and done, it's he I love, he says. Jose hosts a Smiths Morrissey radio show on Indie1031.com. Two hours of Smiths and Morrissey requests, news, tour dates and facts. He has appeared in Morrissey's video for Irish Blood, English Heart. He has met Morrissey six times and at their third meeting, Morrissey suggested to Jose that he release Lost as a single, having seen footage of his performance. I meet him in the Cosmopolitan Hotel, Las Vegas. It's hard for me to believe that this very sensible guy, neatly dressed in short t-shirt, white socks and trainers, who speaks very politely with a tiny hint of a lisp while he ate my pullaments, is the same man who induces crowds frenz frenzy and hysterics with his uncanny impersonation of Morrissey. Grounded and earnest, he is grateful for the chance to live the dream with the hooligans. When he's not whipping the microphone, he's at home in Pasadena and his day job is an LA lifeguard. He enjoys date nights with his wife, pineapple on his pizza, and racing bikes home from school with two son, his two sons. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the corner, Jose Maldonado. Thank you, David. <laughs> so, would you open that book, Jose, sure. at page... Up to my page there, or...? Your page... Where am I? 15, please. All right. No, hang on. Sorry. Um, page 15. No, not page 15. Page... No, I, I found it. I found page... It. No, we won't start at 31. We'll start I found it. I found it. Okay. Uh, page 32? Yes, please. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, so we'll just start at the beginning. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good enough. Can you please say your full name? Jose Raul Maldonado II. <laughs> you have three jobs. Singer, DJ, and lifeguard. Which one do you like the best? Do you want me to read from the copy, or should I? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've never done this before. Have you changed your mind? Uh, the job that... <laughs> Which job do I like the best? The job that has been the most financially and spiritually rewarding of all would be LA County Lifeguard. My other job is lead singer of a Morrissey Smith tribute band called Sweet and Tender Hooligans, and we've been and we've been doing our tribute for over twenty years. And I'm also a DJ on Indie One O Three One. Yeah, but which is your favorite? Each is rewarding in its own way, and I have different reasons for each. See, I would have said that my favorite is being a rock star. Yeah, I, well, I do love to do that, but I don't do that nearly as much as I'm a lifeguard. You have a nickname, the Mexican Morrissey. Who gave you that nickname? A couple of years ago, I did a show where we were on the bill with the Mexican Elvis, Elvez. And I thought, oh, this is great. We could bill it as the Mexican Elvis meets the Mexican Morrissey. Uh, from that point, it kind of stuck. Other than the Mexican Morrissey, how would you describe yourself in a sentence? Oh, um, gosh, exclamation point. <laughs> gosh, I don't know. Um, in no particular order, I am a Los Angeles County lifeguard, marathon runner, and lead singer of Sweet and Tender Blue What sets your band apart from the other tributes? Are there any other tributes? Well, there